Now, y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the mess, so let's get into it, y'all. What's going on, you guys? It's me, your boy, Scott, by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, okay? And we're here once again to discuss Sheree Whitfield and Martell Hope once again. Now, I'm on my laptop because my mic has messed up, okay? I was, I was, this is my second time filming this video. My mic is messed up. I think my, uh, this thing is messed up or something because it won't stay in. It definitely won't stay in, so I'm going to have to go and get a, purchase another one. But right now, we're going to be, until I purchase my mic, we'll be on the laptop right now. And I think my laptop mic is even better or it could be a little bit louder than my normal mic. However, we're here and we're going to be talking about this. So as you guys already know in the last video that we just did, we talked about Melody Hope responding to um, the the reveal of the romance of Sheree Whitfield and Martell Hope. We we discussed this on the last video. But apparently Martell is upset. Now we got this tea from TGIF, which is on Fox Soul, and I watch it from time to time and it features Claudia Jordan, um, Funky Dineva, and um Al Reynolds, whatever. Um I don't like Al y'all. Um now they was talking about the story itself and how Sheree confirmed it, but Funky Dineva said that he got a friend that's in the media that's close to Martell saying that Martell Holt is pissed that Sheree has put this out, that they are in a relationship. He that's not even his type. He is only here to fix the pool for Sheree and nothing else, okay? That's what Funky Dineva said that this media person told him. So what we're gonna do is we're going to listen to an audio of this episode of T TGIF, and we're going to um, play it for you guys. I got my Bluetooth. I don't know how this shit going to work out because I'm not on my uh, desktop with my mic. I'm just on my laptop, but we're going to see how it works, child. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let me put this up, and let's get into the tea, y'all. We have an update on Joy Whitfield's love life. Sheree confirmed that she is indeed dating Martel Holt and that she has already introduced him to her friends. The pair were also captured in a video provided by TMZ showing some public display of affection. Are y'all rooting for this couple? Q, I know you made a, a video of it. So, of the story, what do you think? So here was what's interesting. I spoke to one of my colleagues in media who has a very close relationship with Martel Holt. And according to her, Martel Holt is pissed and said that he and Sheree are not together, said that Sheree is not even his type, that he is building a pool for Sheree and is working closely with her pulling permits and so on and so forth, that he is not with her and that his phone was ringing off the hook all day that day and that he is extremely upset that she said that. So I don't know what the truth is at this point because on the flip side of things, Sheree has never struck me as the type of woman who will go around claiming a man that's not claiming her and I don't know how in any way, shape or form she's incentivized or rewarded for attaching a body to her. But according to our media colleague that knows Martell, he's extremely upset and said that she's not his type and that they are not together. You don't see video of them looking pretty. Yeah, that don't look like he's doing no pool with the video that we I, just showed. I completely I'm agree. I'm just telling you what the people said. Also, Claudia, I'm going to give a shout out to Freddie O because Freddie O just conducted an interview with her. He caught up with her and in the interview, he asked her point blank. Hey, what's going on with you and Martell? And she shared the skin and she said that, you know, that they are hanging out, that they're spending time and that they were introduced through mutual friends. Now, I know Sheree can do a lot of things, but I don't think she has to lie about this one to the point where he's disgusted. That's kind of weird. I, I agree. Um, now, I don't know Martell, but from the little stuff that I hear about the show, he does, it seems like he... Is not going to maybe tell a lie or two. Right, that's what it's got other women. Another woman. There's other women who you know, trying to keep happy and, and let, don't want to make them mad. Of course, it would be a, a negative. Like, uh, guys don't like being put on blast when they ain't all the way cleared out to all the other girls that they messing with. Mm -hmm. And he has other people he's still answering to. Because I, I too, I said to him, 
Chile is not a liar, not as far as I know. I, she don't need a lot of kickers. She's been in media in, this t- in the industry long enough. Long enough. She doesn't have a backfire in her face if she lied about a dude like that. And during interviews, the only thing that only thing that's a little bit weird for me here is that I, I've been to Sheree's house. I don't know if you guys have been to her house on the inside of that house. That inside of that house is like a castle. It's beautiful. Furniture, expensive, everything in there costs a million dollars. I just don't see her dating a man that's got five kids and then five kids coming and running through Chateau Charette. <laughs> I just don't see that. I don't see that part at all. That's the only thing that's a little bit awkward here in this story. And sure, if you are dealing with him, which I do believe you are, and he has the audacity to tell people that, that, that you know, he deny you, please run from him, because you deserve a man that will proudly claim you. You don't know that. Nice. He, he said, Sheree, if you want to know who he told it to, get my phone number from Cynthia Bailey and call me. I'm going to talk about the show. I'll tell you it to me. I'll, tell, I'll, I'll, I'll call Al, and I'll tell you exactly who he told it to. Okay, we're going we're gonna to connect y'all two after the show. All right, and that was the tea that Funky Dineva spilled on TGIF. And, of course, Claudia Jordan and Al Reynolds also had some words to say about it as well. Now, let me get into what Scotty by Nature TV got to say about this situation here. Let's, let's, let's talk about that. Now, listen, I feel at this point, and y'all know I've been digging into Sheree's ass all this season, only based off of the shit that she has been doing on the show. So, y'all know I've been all on her ass all season. But we're going to keep it all the way a buck here. I would hope that Sheree, I, well, even when I was reporting on this, I felt like Sheree, like, jumping up to really put this out there that she's dating a man with five children and a man that really ain't got nothing going on with his life. I felt like she was jumping to conclusions by doing that. I mean, that would not be something that I'd be jumping up for Joy to be talking about, especially with the rep that he got and knowing what he has done over the last two, three years right now. I would have not been jumping up for Joy to be revealing him. I get it. You was with an ex-con. You know, this man did you dirty, did you wrong. Like Pleasure P, I did you wrong. You did me wrong. I take you back. You take me back. All of that other toxic shit that y'all like to do, okay? We know this already. But at the same point in time, though, it's, it's kind of like, I don't feel like Sheree is lying about being with this man. However, do I think that Martell is lying? Most definitely. I think the reason why he's upset is because he got other women. He's still messing around with other women. He's still doing his thug thizzle. And that is why he's pissed off at Sheree for going out there putting it on blast. See, he feels like he's being blasted. See, he probably feel like, oh my God, this motherfucker that went out here and told these folks that I'm that I'm with her, that I'm that we are in a relationship with each other, talk, telling these folks how to met our friends and shit like that, and then you fucking up, you fucking up what I going on with my hoes. That's what I think he's doing because Martell is the type of man that'll get mad over some shit like that. And I just feel like this. She's ready to go on and cut her losses. But one thing I will say is that I'm glad that Funky Dineva and all of them was up there saying, trying to get her connected to the, the person that said it because that that is real foul. If Sheree got her ass up here and announced this relationship and it's really not a relationship or she didn't get up here and announce this relationship all happily and shit like that and it ain't even going down the way that he portrays it to be going down. You know, it may not even be her fault. It may not even be a situation where she's lying. I don't think that she's lying, but I definitely think that she's being made a fool of. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking she's definitely being made a fool of. I think that he's definitely making her look crazy, and I think that's just what it is. I don't think she's lying. Sheree can find any man she wants, so she's a beautiful woman with a nice body. She can find uh, any man that she wants, but and that's my issue with her. You can find whatever man you want, but you steady go for these same trifling, toxic ass, fuckboy ass niggas when you need to be fuckboy free, period. That's what you need to be, but instead you don't. So I really don't know what to say about this. Um, Maybe we'll get more updates on this situation, but all I can really say about that is that, girl, watch your back, watch your back, you know, because baby... That, that was a lot. That was a lot of tea for Funk and Dineva to spill. Even in three minutes, that was a lot in three minutes to spill. Because I feel bad for her at this point. Because you already got played by trifling ass Tyrone. Now you're going to get played by this man who got five children. 
four by his ex wife and one by his baby mama. Like, he fit now, he finna play you. That's not a good look at all. Like, how the fuck he gonna play you? You know what I mean? He gonna play you. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of baffling to me, and um, I'm just not feeling it. I ain't feeling it for Sheree. Uh, I hope she finds out what's really going on, and then, you know, when she finds out what's going on, I hope she cuts her losses, because you're talking about you only building a pool for her. She can't find nobody else to build no pool for her. What she needs you to build a for? That's the part I'm trying to understand. What she needs you to build a pool for? You can't even get your builder's license, but you building a pool for her? Child, please. Like, no, uh-uh. Mm-mm. Some, something in the buttermilk ain't clean with this little situation. But that's all I'm going to say on that. Um, I can't wait to see y'all comments on there. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to do a live chat about this or not. Y'all got to let me know if that's what y'all want, especially with this TV being put out. Like, I don't know. But we'll see. But with that being said, you guys, this be your boy Scotty. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video. Also, click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. And also, if you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down in the description box below. Now, this is your boy Scotty by Nature TV, and I'm out of here. And I'll leave you guys with the promo from Nova Cosmetics. We out of here, y'all. Bye.